Singles action is up next. You're not going to want to miss this one. Oh, I'm not going to miss it. We have Mojo Raleigh against Kalisto. <laughs> oh, man. I can't wait to see these two go at it. Both men enter this match with tidal waves of momentum, which set them on a collision course for this very moment. It's all or nothing, and these two men wouldn't have it any other way. Well, neither one of these competitors has a lot of love for the other, and that's going to become clear right about now. The greatest sports entertainment in the world. But hey, by the sounds of it, this crowd is ready for anything that happens tonight. Talk us through what Kalisto is thinking right now. It'll be interesting to see how he plans to get it done. What do you think? The sky's the limit. I see a lot of main events in the future. The WWE of today is stacked with the talent that WWE has not seen in quite some time. And he seems to really hold his own in the mix. That stop might have only lasted a second, but it's going to be felt tomorrow. That may be felt for a lifetime. Oh, no. Massive damage done there. He's displaying classic offense here. Yeah, and that's when he's the most dangerous. King Kalisto's innovative offense is unlike anything I've seen in years. Yeah, and not only is he executing moves that have never even been seen or dripped of, but he does them with lightning quick speed. One move after the other. It's devastating. This is hard to watch. This is going to be bad. He's taking some offense, but he's very aware of who he's in there with and what he has to do to rebound. Don't worry about this guy, Michael. It's going to take a lot more to keep him down. Well put, and I'm certain he has plenty of fight left in him. We've talked a bit about Kalisto's speed, but his agility, I'd say, is equally amazing, particularly when he takes to the air and starts contorting his body in ways never thought imaginable. Does this guy remind you of me or what? <laughs> Kalisto showing signs of slowing down. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. And it looks to me like neither of these guys are showing signs of pulling away here. It's a good point, John. And I'd say this match is about as even as it could get at this point. And he reversed it! Good move there! And what a reversal from Kalisto. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. And you couldn't be any more right about Kalisto's mid-air agility, Cole. I guess that's why they call him the king of flight. Get it, king. After a move like that, he's going to need a chiropractor in his near future. Look at this. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Kalisto. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Great counter. He was able to reverse that. Look at the attack here. Oh, man. Talk about a direct hit. Oh, wait. Nice reversal. Somehow, he's kicked it into another gear here tonight. He's delivering an old-fashioned butt-kicking right here. Kalisto. He's not looking good here. I'd say he's starting to feel the pressure a bit. Don't forget, he's executed his finisher twice already, which means his opponent... We got a cover. And the shoulder's up now. That's a kick out. Nice. He simply refuses to stay down. Well, I've never seen him do that before. Nice reversal. He's setting up. Oh, nice counter. He was one step ahead on that one. 
Well, I don't think he was prepared for this. His shoulders are down. Two. And here's Kalisto. Look at this. He's just barely moving. I'm not sure he can get back to his feet. He's sending a message to the entire WWE locker room here. He's certainly showing us something new from his repertoire. That's cool. I like new stuff. Oh, you police don't. He may get the three count right there. Gonna be close. Two, three. There's your winner, ladies and gentlemen, Kalisto. Here's your winner, representing the Lucha Dragons, Kalisto. There's no doubt about it. That's a big pinfall win right there. You know, I don't recall ever actually being pinned, but you would have to think it's pretty humiliating. And I can imagine there aren't too many people at home regretting tuning in for that amazing match. Wow.